you might want to meet a resident of Vilcabamba. He's not even Ecuadorian, but I have heard about this guy, Patrick. So let's go meet him. Hello. Hola, hola. Welcome. Hi. Are you Hello, Patrick? I'm Patrick? I'm Robin. Robin, nice to meet you. How do you do? Hi, I've heard rumors you? in town about you. Oh, come sit and I'll tell you all, <laughs> all about right, it. All right, great. <laughs> okay. So you were born in Kansas City. Yes. Uh, you've had an interesting life with 9,000 different jobs. Yeah. And you thought Hawaii was going to be the dream place to spend the rest of your life. And it was. And you were there for how long? For 30 years. 30 years. And then all of a sudden, you're in Vilcabamba, Ecuador. <laughs> no, not all of a sudden. It took me four years to uh, go back and forth. To, uh, so you visited here. I visited here. I fell in love with it. I came back the second time to make sure I hadn't self-hypnotized myself. Yeah, thinking yeah. This was Shangri-La. This is where I was going to live for the rest of my life. Uh-huh. And uh, so I moved here. Now, this is a town of about 2,000 people. Yes. You're on the outskirts of town. I can see one of the reasons <laughs> you love living here. Yes. Um, but what are the other reasons? Well, I spent 20 years of my 30 in Hawaii in a little tiny village that's about uh -huh. the same size. Yeah. The difference is that they spoke Hawaiian pidgin, and they speak Spanish here, so I'm having to learn a new language. But it's yeah. a very similar, very similar place. Well, I'm thinking Hawaii has to be a lot more expensive than, than Ecuador. Uh, <laughs> probably four times less expensive here, can at I, least. Can I ask um, what your cost of living is, like, say, per month? I mean, you have a beautiful Probably home. Probably around uh, between nine seventy-five and fifteen hundred, depending on on uh, how how much I splurge. I and go into uh, Aloha, which is the next biggest city, and I go in really once a month, and I go mm -hmm. into what's called the Super Maxi and yeah. fill up a shopping cart that um, my cook and housekeeper decides we need all mm -hmm. this stuff. And you have a cook and housekeeper? Yes, yeah, full time, and um, so. Um, that's how I'm learning my Spanish also. Uh -huh. And we have a deal. She speaks Spanish and I speak English. <coughs> you know, uh, this is obviously known as the Valley of Longevity. And can yes. I ask how old you are? I'm 80. You're 80. So you know, if you hang around here, you're going to live to be 125 I would probably. Hope. <laughs> is, did, I hope to die of terminal healthiness. Oh, I see. <coughs> now, food-wise, uh, do you... Do you do your own cooking? Oh, no, you have a cook. I have a cook, but we have most of our food comes from my garden. Uh, would you like to see my garden? It's, uh, I would love to see your oh, garden. Oh, come and let me All show right. you. And over on this side, we have the orchard, and uh -huh. we have mangoes that are now coming, and we have uh, a little uh, mandarin oranges and um, avocados. And these bear all, all year long, seasonally. Yeah. So you, you've got a grocery store with no cash yeah, my register. Own my own grocery store. Beautiful. <laughs> I don't give saving stamps. <laughs> <laughs> These are raised bed gardens uh -huh. that um, I had help from a master Ecuadorian gardener who came in and, and assisted in creating this. And all of the, of the uh, soil has been brought in, heavily composted. Mm -hmm. And then all you do is you put the seeds in and Two days later, there's... So, these are scallions? Scallions and... Uh, beans? Beans. And what else do you grow here? Well, lechuga, which is uh, lettuce. A lot of different kinds of lettuce. Mm -hmm. Tomatoes. Beans. Are you beans. a vegetarian? Uh, basically. Basically. I try... Uh, so, you cheat I eat with fish a little... and chicken. Okay. For my protein, but the rest of it is all sort of raw foods right from the garden. Mm-hmm. I and have. that's got to save a lot of money, actually. I do two big salads a day, one for lunch, one for dinner. Mm -hmm. Some soup made from stuff that's out of here. So, actually, I'm spending about 150 to 200 maximum on food per month. That's it. You know, I'm thinking you may like you might live to be maybe 140. <laughs> Well, it's not the, it's not the uh, years of your life; it's the life of your years, and that's what I'm I'm trying to do here. Well in said, Patrick. Uh, Patrick, do you drink? I drink a little wine. Uh, let's go have some wine. Let's. <laughs> <laughs>